for admin who are all wants to attend as an admin admin role admin job okay our phase one syllabus is enough enough in the sense enough but understand the admin profile admin profile is something very uh, specific to client okay uh, very specific to client means what is admin job means it's a support job no so there is a client <coughs> let's say skfax.servicenow.com okay so when it comes to admin job whatever the platform needed support the team from service now service now should do them okay let's say examples okay one guy will come and say i want one user to be created so user user administration group to be created group group to be modified group to be retired okay then one role to be created okay role and one user need an access to one application or specific thing so add role right and then one person will come i want something called delegate i am i am leaving for one week and then someone needs to come right so the examples like sir we covered some phase one then how it will help right these are the activities okay then next part right okay like this all our topics what we covered can be your items okay apart from that there are few more okay something like let's say in in your organization okay locations departments okay locations departments will be there right so where they will be so just to go here and then say location simple right so just say administration first there is is there something called user administration no right no okay administration this is okay this is our administration here do we have something called location see here locations are there na so location everyone can see my screen ma you are following me yes so if you go to locations cm1 underscore location table okay so this location table is like okay my company is located in these many com these many so location is location only okay from where people are operating from or from where the company is located on okay so if someone will come you and come up and say okay i want this location to be created i want this location to be changed okay so for a location some parameters will be there where is the location the contact number primary contact number okay those small small things can be modified right so either you can create it either you can update it either you can delete it if you if you don't want that location similarly departments so here we have departments also okay here we have companies also okay and even here you have countries also right so we may get tickets to create them or update them okay or retire them or delete them that can be also our one of the admin activity okay like this these are all maintenance jobs okay in your company in your instance okay there are some custom tables there are some custom activities defined maybe they want some changes in that right it can be anything but if something wants to be changed with respect to data maintenance and all then it comes as a admin job mainly we see admin jobs are like uh, user maintenance reports okay and these kind of tables and data and access mainly access people will come up and say sir i don't have access i don't have access i lost the access okay and one more one more example i will tell you okay 
So, service now will send you emails. Okay, I will start the scripting now. Okay, please give me two minutes. Okay, let me cover this topic, very important topic. Okay, so people will start sending service now will send the emails, right? If an SLA created, if an incident is created, it will cre it will send. If an incident is closed, it will send. If an incident is assigned to your group, it will send. So service now will send emails. Good, very nice. People will start coming up and say, I am not getting email. Okay, service now is sending it, but I am not getting the service now emails. So that is a ticket, incident is created. Okay, service now emails are not getting received. So just to tell me if this is the case, let's say some ABC person, okay, person name is this person. Let's go here and then say, user sys underscore user it can be any issue ma okay i'm just giving some hints don't only keep them in your list okay with your existing knowledge these kind of issues will be okay this kind of activities will you you will do these kind of activities as part of admin okay so if you can if you get these kind of things how you do what you do that kind of knowledge you need to keep it okay now this is the issue then if this is an issue so abraham lincoln he raised an island he raised an issue saying uh, we are not getting tickets we are not getting emails i am not getting emails then you tell me what are the things what are the possible uh, possible things we can check and then fix the issue just tell me tell us Anyone, please? We can My set own. the roles. We can set the roles. Okay, good. Good. Which system role? Which role, system role? System role. Someone, okay, someone said system property. Okay. Good answer. But system property is to send for everyone or not sent for everyone email system property yesterday we seen it right but it's everyone are receiving it but this is specific to one person highly only not getting the emails as per this incident the system property if you set it or if you don't set it it will either set send to everyone or it will not send to anyone good on but good answer okay system property is also one of the good answer okay if everyone not getting it, then system property. Yes. Yes, ma. Role. What is the role, ma? I'm thinking yes, IT lawyer, sir. Because it is incident, right? It is an email, ma. Oh, okay. Sorry. Example sorry. is email. Maybe tomorrow change. Tomorrow maybe HR. So, service now emails. We are talking about service now emails. Sir, we will cross verify the email ID which is mentioned in the user profile. Hmm. So, first thing is. The, whether the person is having email id or not or whether the person is having right email id or not this is the first thing we need to check okay okay the person is having right email id we asked him is that right email id yes that is the right email id then next what email id is passed next what if the mail id is added to the particular group which group? Group like a. Uh, uh, which group, sir? Yeah. Group in a sense like a, uh, for which the people are receiving the mails notifications. So if the email ID, uh, okay. So. It's not added or not. Very perfect. This is next level. Okay. So he is referring, saying, uh, he is not receiving a email. Which email? Maybe incident star, incident creation email or incident closure email or something. Okay. So first of all, we need to also see the notification level. Which email he is referring? Whether that email is configured to trigger to him. Okay. So that is a common email. So let's say one incident is created. Okay. Something like this. Very carefully you see. So incident is created and it is assigned to someone right so let's say this incident is there incident triggering condition we are checking that's what the answer is 
So this incident is very good. My colors are changed somehow. Okay. So here assign to na. If I change to any person, he will get an email. That is the configuration setup is available already. Okay. Now I added him. He should he should get it. Okay. I added one more person. He should get it. This is already there. We will check whether this is correct or not. Okay, he is telling I am not getting any email. That means it's not problem with the configuration of email. That's for sure. Others are getting it. Okay, Alisa is getting it, but Eileen is not getting it. So we will check the notification setup also. Very good answer. But okay, this in this example maybe notification setup is correct. It's already there. Others are getting it, but only he is not getting it. Okay, good answer. So we checked these two. Notification setup is clear. Email ID also correct. Then next what? Think. So this is how we need to do admin activities. We will get tickets like this, issues like this. Next what? The group. What's the group, ma? Uh, to see if um the group that a person belongs is meant to be receiving that email. Uh, group. Okay, so he is part of group. He is part of the group. Yeah. He is part of group. Okay, but this okay, he is already part of group, and group people are getting it. He is not getting it. So sometimes very carefully see. That is also very correct answer. See here. If a group have a email ID, let's say it's a sending a email to group. Okay, assign to this group. System is sending an email, right? So if service now group have an email ID, okay, system will send email to this this email ID. We call it as DL, okay? Distribution list or something. Ah, uh, distribution list, right? If group doesn't have a email ID, like let's say this is blank here, then it will send to all the members, okay? So her answer is, if the group email ID is there, and this email ID, in this email ID, Eileen is not there. In the distribution list, Eileen is not there. Then it will not send. Very good answer. So okay, let's say like this. Everyone understood this point, ma? Yes. Yes. There is something called distribution list DL. Okay. In the DL email ID, this person is not there. If that group, if if the notification is related to group activity, group email sending, then you don't get it. DL email, user email ID is not listed. Next part. Okay, let's say he is part of DL also. Good. Then active inactive. The user is active. That is the first check, Nama. Correct. Active inactive. Hmm. Good. Next what? So like this we will see now. First, right? Sometimes I personally seen like the user will get the email IDs, but emails will go to his spam or junk email ID. He may configure some local configurations like sometimes like if I if I'm getting Okay, there is something maybe first time learners no? who don't know IT. Okay, email Outlook spam. Spam or junk, there are two folders will be there. Okay, every, I think everyone knows it. You are using Gmail and all, right? So, if he configured personally, like all service, maybe he is he's getting fed up with service no emails. And then one day he created one rule. Okay, if subject contains service now, okay, from contains service now, then move that to junk or spam. Right. So and then he he did that for one time, and then emails are going automatically to spam like this. Okay. And then now he is coming and coming and reporting like I am not getting emails. He is not checking properly. The emails are going, 
but emails not he is not seeing correctly so we will ask him to check in junk or spam okay before we are asking him we need to make sure that he is getting emails na so what you do is you go here and then you see email logs first you need to do this one whether that person is rightly getting the emails or not okay you go here and then say emails okay email logs email and then if he is referring to an email an incident you take that incident as like this okay and subject contains that incident okay and if any email id is there then you should you will see so this is group okay so if he got it then you see like this hyrin also got it then you will confirm okay from service no side there is no issue you check it from your side so you check it in junk also you check it in spam also and we are confirming that we the system is sending it there is no issue from system sending then finally we will say we are checked and we are fine with everything we don't have any issue from service no side you check with your exchange team email team there is a team called exchange team okay where they will work on emailing and all we will move this ticket to exchange team you are understanding ma one ticket how what are the things we will check as part of admin job this is one example i am just telling you okay so like this we may get so many tickets some tickets will be access issue some tickets will say i am not seeing this option i am not seeing that option in service no portal i am not seeing this application in service no portal so so many things will come you are understanding ma clear everyone yes yes sir. yes okay. yeah. so to do all these things you should have a basic knowledge of the platform that knowledge is phase 1 and these and all will come with experience we can't list out all the examples because x number of incidents or tasks will be created to our group and we do in live environment like anything sometimes like okay, okay so uh, apart from that you may create some other things like ca creation okay ca configuration item creation and you do creation you do modify you do retire so this is more more like specific to project like this so many other activities will be there once you join to that project you get start working the kt and all will be provided and then you will get it what are the things are there in that project then you will get okay if some ticket will come where you check what you check but to check anything for navigation where it is storing okay where it is linked up everything you need to know our basic concepts correct everyone this is just an idea okay don't confuse and don't get scared okay this is how an admin job will be you will keep on get the tickets you need to work on tickets okay and the ticket may be anything you need the basic knowledge to understand the ticket and then uh, go and then dig into the ticket correct if i don't know user administration can i able to start anything about this ticket ma at least yes yeah no correct no. no okay so i think that's it i just want to give a hint like this okay we just prepare uh, i am just trying to get the list of all the uh, admin activities i posted but no one replied that's how people are okay i am getting it so i will list everything and then i will share to everyone so that uh, you will get a basic idea i don't give like like this kind of scenario like if you get incident this much five minutes and no i just give the okay like this this is one this is two this is three this is four something like this all good ma